We've seen bond yields a little lower here in Australia. Let's get more with Simon Michelle from Fig Securities. And Simon, what's driving Aussie yields down a couple of points today? Good afternoon, Ingrid. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's still very much that lower inflation and uh, especially along the longer end of the yield curves adjusting to those much lower uh, levels. And uh, we're seeing the Aussie 10 year, for example, at 228. That's pretty much the historic low for the Aussie 10 year. Uh, the US 10 year down about uh, down to 1.76. That's half a percent lower than what it was after the US Fed increased rates in December. So, you know, we continue to reach uh, new territory on the low side. Mm, what did we see with Jet Education? Because they did a, what, a $270 million issue? They did. So this is an Aussie company that uh, operates childcare centres in Australia and in Singapore. And uh, they have issued a new three-year bond, essentially to repay uh, existing uh, debt uh, maturing uh, this year. And uh, they had over 500 million Singapore dollars of interest. Uh, they issued 270 million, and that meant that the initial uh, yield of 5.75, they were able to get a, a, away a little tighter, about five and a half. All right, stick with us, Simon. I'll come back to you in just a moment. But Scott, Jet Education, mm. what do you think? Yeah, we really like the company. It's, it's a it's a difficult structure. They're, they're borrowing in Singapore in a mixed currency basket to pay for Australian childcare centres, basically because the Australian market, the Australian debt market, isn't big enough to, to lend them as much as they want. They can't go to the banks right now. So they're effectively forced to go to Singapore. It's not a terrible thing, by the way, but it just adds a bit of complexity and a little bit of currency risk. They're effectively paying up to hedge that risk away where they could otherwise get it in Australian dollars here at home. Um, high quality business, good growth prospects. The capital structure needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That's our only reservation, but it's a buy for us. David? Um, I'm slightly different view of this one. I, I would be taking some money off the table if you got in, especially if you got in in the mid-February period. Um, I think it's a good profit taking opportunity and buy back on any pullback. Okay. So um, a little bit of, um, looks like a little bit of profit taking up here at the moment. Okay, back to you Simon. Just want to ask you about uh, the lower yields globally, which we've been seeing. Better for corporate issuers though, isn't it? Well, it is, but absolutely. I mean, as the uh, return you get on sovereign debt lowers, uh, investors need to look at uh, other alternatives to lock in a bit more of a higher yield. And so a really good environment for corporates to issue at the moment. Historically low rates, great demand for yield. We've seen that reflected in uh, yesterday in the US, their second highest issuance volume at $25 billion. Wow, OK. Simon, Michelle, appreciate those insights into the bond market. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. So just more broadly,